Hi, this is Tookie Blue Eyes, and today I'm going to show everyone how to make a compass using a cork, a sewing needle, a little bit of water, and of course a knife. The knife is to magnetize the sewing needle, and the cork is for the floater. So stay tuned. Well, there are several different ways that you can magnetize your needle, and one is with a small magnet that you may have, or a magnetic bar if you have one. Um, not everybody carries those with them, so, um, but that is one way to do it. Another is with a silk cloth, which if you have sunglasses or binoculars, more than likely um, you probably have one with you for um, cleaning those off. If not, you can also do it with uh, your blade. But those are just three ways that you can magnetize your needle. Um, so stick with me. Okay, first what you're going to want to do is cut off a piece of the cork at about a quarter of an inch thick. Um, I didn't measure, I guesstimated. And then you're going to want to shove your needle. Well, first you're going to want to magnetize it. In this case, I'm going to use um, the silk cloth. And I'm going to use a silk cloth. Now you be sure to go from the tip all the way to the pointy, pointed end of the needle. Like I said, you can also use a needle. And if you don't have a cork, you can use anything that floats. Like um, in your fishing kit, you may have a, um, a floater, a bobber, a foam bobber. And then Okay. I want to stick it through one side and out the other. And this can be difficult. It's kind of hard on the fingers. So I'm going to use a multi tool and be very careful that you don't get, you know, going with your multi-tool and then you stick yourself in the finger with it. See, in that case I went right through the bottom and I don't want to do that. I'm going to try to get it in as straight as possible. So this can be difficult, so <sighs> make sure it's kind of even on both sides, and as you can see there, we're all done. Okay, now that's just a glass full of um, water. What you're going to want to do is drop your needle in there. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see that real well, I brought out my compass to show you how accurate that can be. And so actually, that's what you can use for a compass if you don't have one out in the wild. Well, thanks for tuning in, people. And that has been my rendition of how to make a compass out of cork, a sewing needle, and a little bit of water. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Once again, thanks for tuning in.